Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about finding sums of arithmetic sequences. So what we're going to be doing is finding the sum of any given amount of terms. So let's say you want to find the sum of the first five terms of a sequence. You would use this formula. So I'm going to read through the formula. S of n, that's sort of like an indicator and it shows which term or which amount of terms we are finding the sum for. So if you want to find the sum of the first 12 terms, you would write this as S of 12. Next is n over 2. Now n stands for the number of terms. So as I said, if you want to find the sum of the first 12 terms, n would be 12. And then that's over 2 times a1 plus a n. So a of 1 is just the first term, first term of your sequence that's usually given. And a of n is the nth term of the sum that you want to find. So if you want to find the sum of the first 12 terms of the sequence, you would write this as a of 12, and whatever your 12th term is, is what value you would substitute in there. So let's try to apply this. Let's say we want to find the sum of the first five terms of any sequence. So s of 5 equals 5 over 2. So you replace 5 wherever n is. a of 1 plus a of 5. So you're finding the sum of the first five terms. So you're doing 5 over 2 times a of 1 plus a of 5. a of 5 is just your fifth term. Now let's work on a couple of examples. Okay, so here's the example we're going to work on today. We are given a sequence, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and it continues on and on. So this is our arithmetic sequence. Why is it arithmetic? Well, that's just because we're adding 2 to get from one term to the next. So we continuously add 2 to get from one term to the next. If you don't know what arithmetic sequences are, go check out a couple videos ago. I link, I'm going to link it down below. I created a video on an introduction to arithmetic sequences, and that'll basically just serve as like a refresher. But so this is an arithmetic sequence, and we are asked to find the sum of the first 12 terms. So a term is basically like the position of a number in a sequence. So two is the first term, four is the second, six is third, eight is the fourth, and ten is the fifth term, and then goes so on. The next term would be the sixth term. Like that, we want to find the sum of the first twelve terms. Now, we don't know what the sixth through twelfth term are. Now, we can sit here and add two over and over again, and then just add up all the numbers that come, but that's just very time consuming. So, we're going to use our formula. And I've written our formula over here for reference. So, s of n equals n over two times a of one plus a of n. What is n in this case? n in this case is 12 because we want to find the sum of the first 12 terms. So we're going to substitute n or 12 wherever n is. So in this case, it's going to be s of 12 equals 12 over 2 times a of 1 plus a of 12. Now we need to substitute a of 1 and a of 12. We don't know what those two terms are. a of 1 is the first term. In this case, the first term is 2, so we can substitute 2. What about a of 12? We don't know that. We can sit here and add 2 to 10 and then get the 6th term, which in this case would be 12, and then get 14, which is our 7th term. We can do that, but that's very time consuming. So we are going to connect back to the formula of the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, which I've written over here. And I went over this in that same video, which I've linked down below. So make sure you go watch that if you don't know what this formula means. But we're going to use this formula to find the nth, to find the 12th term. So we know that a of n equals a of 1 plus d times n minus 1. And let me actually do this in a different color. So we want to find the 12th term. So a of 12 equals, the first term is a of 1. So a of 1 in this case is 2. 2 plus the difference. d is the difference. It's just the number that you add to go from one term to the next. In this case, that's 2 times n minus 1. In this case, we are trying to find the 12th term. So n will be 12 minus 1. Let's simplify this. So 2 plus 2 times 11, which is equal to 2 plus 22, which is equal to 24. So our 12th term is 24. So we can substitute back as 24. So let's continue this. S of 12 equals 12 over 2, which is just 6, times 2 plus 24. If we simplify this, we get 6 times 26. So our final answer is 156. So if we multiply 26 and 6, we get 156, which is the sum of the first 12 terms. And that's our final answer. 
So this is our next example. Um, we're given a sequence, negative five comma, negative seven comma, negative nine, negative 11 and negative 13, and it continues on and on. And we are asked to find the sum of the first 14 terms of this sequence. So first let's look at our sequence. Is it an arithmetic sequence? Yes, why? Because you are constantly subtracting by two to get from one term to the next. In this case, you're adding negative two. So you're still changing each term by a certain constant. So it's an arithmetic sequence. We're asked to find the sum of the first 14 terms. Now to do that, we want sum of 14. Now we're gonna use our formula, this formula. So 14 over two, we're just gonna substitute 14 for wherever n is, a of one plus a of 14. Now let's simplify this. Sum of the first 14 terms is equal to seven times, a of one in this case is negative five, because that's the first term in our sequence, plus a of 14, but we don't know what a of 14 is. And so what we're going to do is do exactly what we did last time and use this formula, the formula for the nth term, to be able to find what the 14th term is. So we're gonna use this formula. Now let's do that on the side. So we wanna find the 14th term. So a of 14 is the 14th term. To do that, we have to do a of one, which in this case is negative five, plus d, which is our difference. In this case, since we're subtracting two, our difference is negative two, and we're gonna multiply that by n minus one. In this case, n is 14, because that's the term we want. 14 minus one is just 13. So a of 14 equals negative five minus 26. So what I did was negative two times 13, which is negative 26, and this positive will become negative. So if we simplify this, we will get negative 31. So our 14th term is negative 31. Now let's substitute this back into this equation. So we know that our 14th term is negative 31, so we're gonna add that on to the first term. So S of 14 is equal to seven times negative 36. And if we simplify this, we will get S of 14 is equal to negative 252. So that will be our final answer and the sum of the first 14 terms of the sequence.